Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. I'm about to give you a full demonstration of step one, two, three, and four of the force field protection system. Uh, this is gonna show you the proper application techniques and give you some tips and tricks when you're applying the force field protection system and a little bit of info about it. If you have any questions about this after you see the video, feel free to give me a call. So I'm gonna start with uh, Ghost rinseless wash solution. This cap is a quarter of an ounce. So with this product, you'll use one ounce, which would be four capfuls per wash. So per wash, I use one gallon of water per wash, so that's step one. Uh, you'll also, put some ghost in a spray bottle and dilute it uh, one part product, two parts water for the clay bar lubricant. So I'll go ahead and shut the door here. And we shall get started one step at a, at a time for the demo and then and then I will go ahead and just start knocking out the cart and bring you back one step at a time. So I'm just going to put one towel in for now. Get that soaked in there. You've got your clay bar. We have the uh, gray Gary Dean Wash Method drying towel, which I absolutely love. So this is how this works. Take one towel out of the bucket, one soaked towel out of the bucket. You have your ghost rinseless wash. Pre-soak the panel. This is a true roadster, by the way. That's why the top is not on. You literally have to build it and apply it or put it on the uh, vehicle. So you'll pre-soak the panel. This is the Gary Dean wash method. Pre-soak the panel with Ghost, Infinite Use Detail Juice, whatever it is you're using. You can see all the dirt just being broken down by Ghost Rinseless Wash. It's amazing. You take your pre-soak towel, and remember, I'm, I'm prepping this for a polish with Evo All-in-One, so check out how I do this. Start from top to bottom. When you feel like the towel is over saturated with dirt, which I don't necessarily, but for all intents and purposes, I'll flip it over now, get the bad stuff. Fewer swipes is better, and it costs less to have to wash multiple towels than it does to use extra water in your wash. So now I've used two sides of this towel. I'll never reintroduce this towel back to that clean wash water ever. So you're not reintroducing old dirt to new dirt, which is the benefit to the Gary Dean wash method. So anyway, that is spent, but there's plenty of lube left behind to go right in with the clay bar. And Ghost is a very good lubricant. So you go right into clay. Especially if you're prepping the car for polish, it's not as important, in my opinion, to ensure that it's a perfect situation. My prep process is pretty generic. Um, so I'm not real concerned about any extra dirt being on the car and worrying about all that. Because I'm going to polish it. And I know the capability of Evo All-in-One. It's pretty good stuff. So I know that if I install any minor stuff in the paint, I'm going to be able to get that out with no problem with Evo All-in-One. Now, if you had an issue with this, you didn't want to go direct to uh, clay bar without drying the panel, 
do that. It's all about what you feel like is right. I can tell you that I know my customer very well, and whatever I do is going to be good for him, and he's going to be happy. And it's all about understanding the customer and knowing how to get to that end result that that customer wants and doing that. So now here we go with the panel. It is all dry now. So we take our Gary Dean Wash Method waffle weave drying towel. I didn't bother claying this mirror because it has clear film all over it. Just wanted to get it clean. And you'll notice I film in real world situations. I don't set up things for random advertisements. I shoot you guys straight, unlike, unlike most manufacturers that are just people running their mouths. I actually do this for a living. Um, I detail cars to make money. And uh, this is a real world situation. I'm here demoing products that I am actually using on actual customers' vehicles. There's a difference between what I'm doing and what most manufacturers are doing. Just saying. So, now, we're washed, we're clay barred. The next step in this situation in the force field protection system is to use stripper juice. Stripper juice is going to remove any and all polishing oils, wax, polymer, whatever's on the surface. It's going to remove that, but it's also going to leave behind a priming catalyst for the infinite force field, which is the next step, where not only when you apply a, a protective product, not only is that product going to bond, but with stripper juice, the priming catalyst is going to grab the coating as well as the coating is going to grab that priming catalyst and you're going to get two types of bond because of stripper juice. That is what the benefit to this product is other than it's removing anything that's already there. So with Ghost, we didn't leave anything extra behind that this would have to fight. So that's the benefit to Ghost, it's not leaving any residue behind. So these sprayers have an on-off switch. And so basically what I generally recommend is to spray the towel. Spray the towel with the stripper juice. Make sure the surface is all good to go. And I wipe the panel with the towel. I don't spray the product directly on. Well, that was not good. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to grab another towel here. Because. All right, super juice is a little bit grabby. Pay attention, like you just saw. It gets a little grabby because it's uh, literally taking everything off the surface. That's the point. Uh, when you notice that it's a little bit grabby, that's when you know it's doing its job. So be careful. Wipe the surface down a time or two. If the surface doesn't get grabby, you're not using enough. But at the same time, you don't want to use too much of this stuff because the primer will streak a little bit if you overuse it. I wouldn't really worry about that. I mean, you can use a good amount. It's not going to hurt anything. But you'll notice, if you notice any streaking, it's because you're using too much product. So just back it off a hair. So anyway, very grabby, that's what you want. You want to make sure the surface is free of anything that would prevent the infinite force field from bonding. That's the whole point of this deal. So this door has been stripped of anything that could be on there uh, and it is primed and ready to go for the infinite force field application. Now. You can apply infinite force field in a couple of different ways. You can either use the dual action polisher and the white Eurotech foam 
pads from Buff and Shine that I sell on DetailJuice.com. Or the way I generally do it is I use a microfiber towel. Um, it seems to work best for me. Uh, the coating, you want to prime the surface, make sure that the surface is um, very primed, and then I give it one more spray. Then I start from top to bottom, making sure it's going on very evenly. I'm not getting any streaks. I usually flip the towel over and massage in anything I see. When the towel starts to get where you're not seeing the streaking, and it's not streaking that's going to stay, it's the product being applied and before it flashes, I'll spray one spray at a time. You should be able to get four full cars out of one two ounce bottle. So when you get the kit, that's good for about four cars. Now if you overuse, you may not get four cars. If you underuse, you're not doing yourself, you're not doing the customer any justice. Oh my gosh, this stuff is so slick. And the gloss is amazing, especially compared to the unclean side. Good stuff guys, this stuff is amazing. Of course I would tell you that. I would tell you whatever I had to tell you to make you buy it. Whether, you know, I'm not the type of guy that would tell you something like that if it wasn't amazing. And to be honest with you, I wouldn't put my name on something that I couldn't use and didn't choose over anything else in the market as a pro detailer. That's my guarantee to you. If I can't use it as a pro to make money, or as an enthusiast to make my cars look amazing, I'm not gonna try to sell it to you. But just keep in mind, a manufacturer can tell you whatever they want. That doesn't necessarily mean it's good if they say it is. But anyway, that's it. So I'll go ahead and use the same towel because I gotta do the whole car and I'm just doing this demo on this one panel of the force field protection system. And I'm even gonna strip that off. I'm gonna have to polish that anyway. Evo on one will actually remove that and uh, go ahead and add more acrylic back. Uh, that's what it does. And then I'll actually put Infinite Force Field on top of the Evo All-in-One to give it more protection. I folded this towel because the next step, and I do one panel at a time. I don't do a whole car with each step. I do one full panel at a time and move to the next one. So the next step, oh my gosh, it's so smooth. That, I'm telling you, Infinite Force Field uh, acrylic coating is the best coating I've ever used. And I'm, I'm telling you that because I want you to know it, but I'm also telling you that because I've used pretty much everything on the market. And this is what we develop based on my experience in the industry. That should be important to you. So the last step in this process is Force Field Boost. Now this product is also amazing. The benefit to this is not only to smooth out any hot spots that you may have gotten and to not remove any of the actual acrylic that's on the surface, but to move the high spot, the concentrated areas, and smooth them out so that you get a crystal clear, streak-free finish every time. That's what this does in the system, but it also is the maintenance product for Infinite Force Field. So, we're getting a solid two years of durability, right around the two year mark out of Infinite Force Field after stripper juice is applied. Now, when you use Force Field Boost, you can make Infinite Force Field last indefinitely. That basically means forever. So, as you use the product, use the car, the elements are going to knock down some of the protection over time from friction, erosion, washing, all of that kind of stuff. What Force Field Boost does when you use it every other month as a quick detail spray, it's that easy to use, is it will add back more protection, more acrylic to the total thickness than the elements will have taken off 
and friction and all that kind of thing within that two month period. So when you use this, after your application of infinite force field, and you can use it whenever you want. You can use it every wash, doesn't matter. This acrylic is layerable, but you don't want a heavy layer uh, anytime. You want a thin layer every time you apply it. You can add as many coats as you want. It will absolutely bond to itself. So you can think of this as a, a basically a less strong version of the coating but it doesn't have any hardener in it. So it actually will add back a sacrificial layer that the elements will be beating up instead of the actual coating. So you can layer this, you can layer the coating, however you want to work it out, but this is the maintenance product to, la to make the coating essentially last indefinitely. So that's kind of where we're at with that. Uh, with this product, I do like to uh, mist it straight on the surface. Just a few sprays is all you really need. And you basically just wipe it in. If you see any high spots, you can you know focus on that area or whatever. But as far as uh, this product goes, it's really effortless to use. I'm sorry it's dark in here, guys, but I'm doing this job on location, so this is where we're at. So anyway, uh, it's super slick. It looks amazing. And that's it. That is the force field protection system from detailjuice.com. Again, today is February 24th, and I will be releasing this on March 1st, 2017. Uh, you can get this uh, these four products as a kit. The kit is $89.99. And uh, if you notice on the site, I've gone back to a free shipping platform. What that means is any purchase on the website over $30 is going to be free shipping. I'm doing that $30 limit with the $10 flat rate that I've always had or that I've had for the past year because anything less than 30 bucks, the profit margin isn't good enough to have to eat shipping out of that. And unfortunately, I'm a small company, small business. I purposely don't get bigger than I do uh, so that I can continue to, to, you know, give you guys the best possible customer service. You're not dealing with a customer service team when you call upon me uh, with 813-846-4406. That is my actual cell phone number. All right, guys, if you got any questions for me, 813-846-4406. Check out detailjuice.com for all of my products. Uh, if you got questions, feel free to ask. I give you guys my cell phone number for a reason. I can't help if you don't use it. Uh, if I don't answer the phone, leave me a voicemail or send me a text message. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks again for watching, guys. Have a great day.